every time I see a video, I feel like, how is that true that he's not there? Because he was the most confident and most talented man I ever met. Earlier, like if I see my journey six, seven years ago, it did hurt me. Why am I not doing a film here? Or why did someone say no to me six days before a film? Some of the producers will still say, why, why are we going to pay her so much? Um, you know, uh, is she going to assure us the opening? And then to one I said, uh, is this male actor assuring you the opening? <laughs> Sonam, welcome to Film Companion. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, you have so much to celebrate. Ten years of being in the movies. Yeah. Also, also, I was looking at the OMAX chart of the most popular Punjabi actresses, January to March 23, and you are number one again. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, God's what, been kind. what's it like to have that number one attached to your name? I don't know, sometimes it does feel like, is it even real, to be very honest? A uh, lot of things feel very unreal to me. But every once in a while, I just like, under my breath, I thank God. Because, see, like, you know, for someone like me, to, um, to have all of these things uh, happen to me is like a dream, beyond like a dream come true. So I do feel like, oh my God, is this really happening with me? Like. For some people, it might be, what is she talking about? But for me, like it really feels like, wow. Even now? Yeah, yeah. 10 years ago? I don't feel like I've been 10 years ago. I feel like I've been 2-3 years ago. Because I have the same kind of nervousness when I go on set. Um, my friends tell me that you stress way too much when you're you know, doing a project or whatever you're doing. So I feel like it's only been 2 or 3 years since I'm working and I have to do so much more or uh, like it just doesn't feel like it's been 10 years, it's like a decade and I, I, I don't realize it. And it feels unreal to be honest. But so you're such a prolific actor, right? Uh, your film uh, Gode Gode Cha released in May, you have yeah. Carry On Jata 3 in June. When you're doing three or four films a year, which is sort of the frequency yeah. at which you're working, how do you ensure that your characters are different so that people don't get tired of seeing you? Uh, you know, uh, especially with, you know, when these kind of films happen like Arab Mutiara or Gudiya Patole, then ye, then people start offering you similar kind of uh, scripts. Correct, so the always, is always yeah. there. So I try, I mean, um, you know, I try to have that balance. Firstly, I want to do films which are family entertainers, then I want to do films which are very, very uh, good in, um, you know, which are female centric, which have powerful roles for the female actors. So I try to maintain the balance and my one reason of not doing anything more in 2023 is because I really want to sit down and you know, weigh all these roles, sit thoroughly with the writers and then say yes to something because I know this is something that even I felt that I don't want to do the similar kind of roles, even if this is just female-centric films. It's not just about doing female-centric films. It should be something about um, how can I still bring different kind of characters on screen. So I've tried that on my level. And I think that's why um, I chose Gode Gode Cha. It is an ensemble cast and I may not have a huge screen space in the film um, but you know I felt like okay you know this is something different and I haven't done something like that in a long time and uh, now I'm prepping and I'm working on a couple of scripts um, they're risky uh, but I still want to give them a try I want to try something very very different when, when you say you're prepping does that mean you've said yes and you're working on the role or are you actually helping to create the material I'm also helping to create the materials and simultaneously working on those characters of some kind I really want to. But you know, speaking of different subjects, I feel like the sort of the biggest outlier in your filmography was Punjab 1984, yeah. which was your second film and it's a wonderful film. Yes. Uh, and you said that you actually fell in love with your job yeah. while doing that film. Yeah. But you have, like you said, leaned more into doing family entertainers, more, more sort of more mainstream stuff. Hmm. Is that by choice? Uh, see, also, uh, we are a growing industry at the moment. So for me to now have a subject of my own choice and tell the producer, okay, you know what, this is what I want to do. Let's make a film on that. It took me 10 years or probably nine years. 
eight years of my career. To get career. to that position. Yeah, to get to that position. Um, but having said that, um, we are a growing industry and there are not a lot of experiments that we do. Like I'm sure there is so much that we can do in space of action and thriller, but we don't have that. And the producers don't want to put money on something that doesn't assure them that, you know, they will recover money or they'll make more money at least. So um, that is one of the things I think that stops all of us from, you know, trying ex different genres, um, but family entertainers, because Punjabi films are such that you pick up any film. You can sit with little kids to watch those movies. Yeah, we may not, like other industries may think that we are not very progressive and we haven't really done something, uh, you know, like Bollywood or South, but every time a filmmaker is making, every time we as actors are on set, you know, the first thing is, if families ne dekhni hai, ye humne aise karna hai. All of us, because our audience That's a priority. Is, yeah, that is hundred percent a priority. So, bahut sari script shayad this wajah se bhi nahi ho pati that we think your families aayengi dekhne ke liye. Um, because we are a growing industry and families matter so much to us. What they think about our cinema matters so much to us. So, ek wo bhi karan ho sakta hai. Jaise I did a film uh, called Sher Bagga. Uh, in that film, the girl becomes pregnant before getting married. But that has a very nice story to it, like how parents should be uh, like friends to their children. They should have an open communication and how one should settle in life and think like good message. But a lot of people did question that choice. Halaki film mein koi scene aise nahi the. But people were like, how people didn't approve that choice so much. Ki aap ek unmarried ladki ko kaise aap dikha sakte hai. Because our audience is like that, so, you know. So, does that ever become restrictive for you as an actor? Haan, thoda sa, yes, of course. Uh, every time you're doing something, um, you know, you, you do think like that. Okay, okay, are people going to accept it? Um, are people going to take it positively? So, you do, like, that's why we don't have too many experiments. Um, we don't have action films. I someday also want to do an action film. But I think we all have to say that our families will come to see if we put in so much of money because it is going to be more expensive, bigger budget. Uh, we feel like no. And in Bollywood, mein, I said no to a couple of things because I was like, is Punjab going to be okay with it? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, we have that mentality that Family should be okay. Family should be watching what it. What were you offered? Like, I mean, you don't have to I tell would, me the films, yeah. but like, what kind of roles? So, I was very scared to do uh, a kissing scene in a film back then because I thought, uh, how are people going to respond to it? How are these people who've actually made me who I am today? Are they going to relate to it? Are they going to understand that this is for the script? Is my family going to understand that, you know, uh, this is for a film? So I had all these questions in my mind for sure. And I let go of a couple of things. But I think this is life. Like we learn from our mistakes. Kuch cheeze, jab main ab dekhti hu, piche murke to lagta hai, why, why, like I should have maybe discussed. Like today, uh, I think it was a couple of years ago, I spoke to my mom and dad about it. And... Uh, uh, they were like, yeah, if it is for a film, then it should be fine. And I was actually so shocked. And I was like, why did I not speak to you them? You underestimated <laughs> them? <laughs> yeah. So I feel like so many things we assume in our head. I was so shy to even discuss this with my parents that how are you going to react? And they were like, ha, koi nahi, je film liya, fir koi chakkar nahi. So um, I wish like I had that communication. And you know, when your own family supports you, I think everybody understands and now I see even Punjabi audience growing from that point and I think if it's for a film and if it's done aesthetically, if it's um, shot um, the way it should be shot, then I think it should be okay. But where is, where is the sort of Bollywood ambition right now, right? Because you flirted, you, you yeah. auditioned for yeah. Deepika's role in yeah. Happy New Year, you shot the song for Street Dancer 3D. Yeah. Uh, is Bollywood still uh, something you want to aspire to or do you aspire to or are you happy where you are? Uh, I'm definitely very happy and grateful where I am. But, you know, we all want to grow as actors. We all want to grow. We all want wider audience for ourselves. So, of course, I, I would love to do a film where even other languages, uh, people You've in other states, coming, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. Know, watch my film. And I do aspire for that. But... 
जो जो मेरे मायने हैं सक्सेस के वो पिछले कुछ सालों से बदल गए हैं इट डिड मेक मी फील बैड फॉर सम टाइम्स आई फील लाइक सबके लिए सक्सेस के मायने अलग हैं एंड नॉट नेसेसरली दैट इफ ओनली आई एंड अप डूइंग अ बॉलीवुड फिल्म इज वेन आई विल सी माई सेल्फ एज आई फील लाइक नो इफ आई एम एबल टू ब्रिंग सम चेंज इवन इन द इंडस्ट्री वेर गॉड हैज प्लेस मी इन द इंडस्ट्री वेर they have made sonam bajwa sonam bajwa today if i'm able to add little bit there i'm successful and if i if i'm able to do the kind of roles i want to do um if i'm able to entertain people i'm successful so i it doesn't upset me if i don't make it in an audition now um but earlier like if i see my journey 6 7 years ago it did hurt me uh that why am i uh, you know not Uh, why am I not doing a film here? Or why did someone say no to me six days before a film? Um, and so these are things that have happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I did sign a three film deal with a very big production house. I did proper workshops. I learnt um, some skill for that film. Uh, but six days before, they said, you know. um the director films feels extremely nervous because it's his first time you're very quiet um and things like that but now when i look back i feel like wow god really did save me uh, it was a blessing in disguise it didn't work out and everything and i you know like as a person um when i look back i feel maybe i was not even ready to do bollywood so far mentally it takes a lot of pressure um it takes you you have to be really really strong mentally forget your craft is one thing uh but just to be here and do things uh it's a lot of madness so you have to be mentally strong and i feel like i may, maybe i wasn't ready really. but you're ready now and are you auditioning now i am ready and i'm very happy and open uh, to auditions but i haven't found anything really good to audition for so let's see <laughs> yeah when it has to be and i think it's it's incredibly sorted of you to um uh, sort of redefine what the yeah, parameters of success 100%. are absolutely you know i'll tell you a couple of years ago i uh, interviewed uh, alu arjun hmm. right and at that point he said to me that uh, of course it's everyone's aspiration to finally be in bollywood to be in hindi yeah. cinema and the truth is one year after that pushpa released and he didn't need hindi wow. cinema <laughs> you yeah, know yeah, yeah, he yeah. was a pan india star yes. uh, and a massive massive 100%. success without any hindi films yeah, yeah. as is fahad fasil as are yeah. so many other incredible actors yeah, uh, yeah. so it's definitely not like some standards of success but yeah. it is something like that might be an ambition which will you know like you said help you grow help you you know kind yeah. of connect with another set of audience so Great. So when you are in Mumbai are you actively sort of seeking it out or are you like if it happens it happens and if it doesn't it doesn't You know uh for me even that is very different like when I'm in Bombay um I uh, have a community of actors I every Saturday go up perform a scene because that gives me happiness and joy from within but I don't like go out just meet people because i don't believe you get work just because you are seen in every party You're networking. Yeah. or networking maybe it does help some people but to me that like i mean that's something that has never appealed to me but i want to be ready as an actor not just because i want to work in bollywood is because i do feel responsible at this point uh, as a punjabi film actor i really want to come up with a film that that will help us grow as a punjabi cinema and you know it's one of my dreams i've said it in other interviews that uh bahut sari south films ke remake bante hain uh marathi films ke bhi remake bane hain punjab tak mein bane i really want ki kabhi punjabi film ka remake bane because now the language is not a barrier Absolutely. honestly yeah. punjabi gaane har bollywood film mein hain and punjabi music industry has done so well it's taken over the entire nation एंड uh, अगर सब पंजाबी गाने इंजॉय कर सकते लैंग्वेज इतना बॉडर नहीं करती अगर हम कुछ अच्छा और अच्छा बनाएंगे आई थिंक पीपल विल स्टिल वॉच इट एंड पीपल विल कम आउट एंड वी वी ऑल आई वॉच कॉन्टेंट विच इज़ नॉट जस्ट हिंदी और पंजाबी एंड आई वॉच इट विद द सेम काइंड ऑफ एक्साइटमेंट दैट आई वुड हैव फॉर हिंदी और पंजाबी तो आई मतलब 
हो सकता है कुछ लोगों को लगे ये बहुत ज़्यादा बहुत बड़ा ड्रीम है बट आई रियली बॉन दैट कि कभी मुंबई में लोग बैठकर या साउथ में लोग बैठकर पंजाबी फिल्म डिस्कस कर रहे हैं आई मीन दैट विल बी अ वेरी वेरी बिग अचीवमेंट फॉर मी आई एम फैसिनेटेड बाय दिस सैटरडे थिंग टेल मी मोर वेयर डू यू गो टू परफॉर्म अ सी सो आई गो टू आर्टिस्ट कलेक्टिव सैटरडे सीन वर्क सो वी गेट वन वीक एंड वी कैन पिक आर ओन पार्टनर and you know prepare a scene and then come perform uh, and all of us you know give feedback to each other and uh, i mean the entire week i'm so excited i perf- uh, you know prepare whatever time i have to prepare the scene and saturday i feel like a little student i'm as nervous as anybody else in that class to perform uh, but i just get a lot of joy because i feel as actors काश मुझे किसी ने जब मैं बिल्कुल इंडस्ट्री में आ रही थी तो मुझे शायद ये बातें बताई होती यू नो लाइक इफ़ आई लुक टेन ईयर्स बैक ज़्यादा द मोर एम्फिस वॉज ऑन योर बॉडी शुड बी परफेक्ट आपको डांस आना चाहिए आपको आपका बॉडी ऐसा लगना चाहिए बट नो बड़ी सैड दैट ऑल दैट इज फाइन इट्स अ प्लस but just keep working on your craft because all of these things are probably go away or maybe fade may not look the same but if you are a good actor you'll keep getting better and better and better and this i learned with time and i'm so glad i learned it and i like to invest um my time there so i just go perform it just gives me nobody sees like nobody's recording that i don't record that uh but just helps me um हेल्प्स मी बिकम अ बेटर एक्टर एंड वो क्या होता है ना वहाँ पर सीन्स में मैं ही अपनी डायरेक्टर हूँ आई एम द एडिटर आई एम द डायरेक्टर आई एम द राइटर सो आई गेट टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ सीन्स दैट आई डोंट गेट टू डू यूजली इन फिल्म सो आई सॉर ऑफ ऑल दैट दैर आई हैव विद इन एंड आई यू नो दिस थाट्स दैट ओके ऐसा सीन होना चाहिए ऐसे रोल्स मुझे करना है जस्ट पिकअप दोज कैन सीन्स आई परफॉर्म आई फील वेरी वेरी हैप्पी एंड सिंगर्स रियाज करते हैं सो आई फील लाइक एक्टर्स का बिल्कुल रियाज है और करना चाहिए मुंबई सो एवरी टाइम आई एम नॉट शूटिंग फॉर अ फिल्म इन पंजाब आई लाइक मुंबई इज माई होम सो आई कम बैक यूर यू नो वॉट यू टॉक्ट अबाउट मेकिंग अ डिफरेंस इन पंजाबी सिनेमा आई आई फील लाइक really um, pushed for that because it is like all film industries around the world run by men hmm. right uh, it is it is a patriarchal space as is hindi cinema as is hollywood as is every film industry uh, but you've talked very vocally about pay parity for gunia patole you were the highest paid actor on that set right how hard has it been for you to break these glass ceilings it's been hard um and you won't believe that it's still really hard sometimes producers will say things like uh why are we paying this much because the opening isn't this much they won't say that to the male actor the amount they're paying to the male actor they are not getting them the same kind of opening these days because anyways we as film industry is struggling to have people back in the cinema because everyone's been comfortable at home sabko apne time ke hisab se you know अपनी मनपसंद चीज़ देखनी है सो इट्स एनी वेज हार्ड बट आई हैव नेवर हैड प्रोड्यूसर्स हैव दिस डिस्कशन अबाउट मेल एक्टर्स दैट वाई आर वी पेइंग दिस फी टू देम यू नो बट वेन अ फीमेल एक्टर डिमांड्स अ सर्टन फी आई हैव हर्ड सो मेनी स्टोरीज लाइक दैट बट यू टू देन अगेन यू नो यू फील बैड बट द ओनली थिंग यू कैन डू इज यू कीप वर्किंग हार्ड डोंट आई डोंट लाइक टू लूज माई फोकस एंड ट्राई एंड चूज अ स्क्रिप्ट try and work as hard as you can on a character and give your best and promote it in the best possible way uh, because uske beyond aap kuch nahi control kar sakte mm-hmm. but ye baatein uh, abhi tak i i hear the why like some of the producers will still say why why are we going to pay her so much um you know uh, is she going to assure us the opening and then to one i said uh, is this male actor assuring you the opening so you uh, nobody can assure an opening yeah but so so you do hear these things but again you to just keep pressing on that's all um these things do make you feel a little bit bad but you have to just 
give your best shot. <laughs> yeah, you just keep at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Now you're not just, of course, an actor. You're also a talk show host. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're very successful talk show host with Dildi Yeah. Now, now, of course, in a movie, you're playing a character, but here, you are revealing something of yourself. Yeah. How hard is that? You know, the first season, uh, because, like I told you. Uh, I saw in your in a flight from Chandigarh to Mumbai, and I couldn't come and say hello to you. I feel terrible about it. So I've always been this person. Um, I'm a little shy sometimes. Now I've become so much better, uh, but I've been an introverted person. So in the first season, when the guests came and some guests who I've never met my entire life. You have no idea. Like I was more nervous than the guest because I was like, <laughs> "What am I going to say to them? What am I going to talk?" And you know, like if someone starts crying, if that you close to that person or you've at least met that person, you just go hug that person. Now I'm sitting there and I'm looking. Okay, should I get up? Should I go hug this person? Should I call for tissues? Like, what do I do? Yeah. What protocol? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And once I got up to just grab some tissues because that's what you usually do, right? And my director is just screaming in my ear. Stop it! Just sit there. You're breaking the moment. I'm like, oh, okay, because in first season it was tough for me, um, especially the first five episodes. I had no idea, uh, but like by the time I finished first season. I felt so happy because I spoke to so many people who I have never spoken to in my like eight years career, and uh, I felt more confident in talking to strangers. And second season was even better, and now I think. I can talk to people who I have never met. <laughs> <laughs> so it was also therapy. Hundred <laughs> percent, it was therapy, and I, I, I think I needed to learn this. Like, if I appreciate someone, if I like their work, at least I, I should have the confidence to go up to them and tell them that, "Hi, I really like you, and I'm so and so." But I couldn't do that in the past. So now I feel happy, and now, like in the second season, I knew what to say when someone is crying. I just knew that how to listen to them, just sit there quietly. It's okay if no one's talking. It's fine. Just right. look at them. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it was a very good learning, and I feel very, very happy that uh, um, I did that show. I heard some beautiful stories. Um, I have some very, very fond memories from both the seasons. You know, you said that one of your favorite interviews on the show was Sidhu Mosewala. Yeah. Um, and of course, you had done the video with him. You you have always said he's one of your favorite singers. How did you sort of process what happened with him? I still can't process that. It is um, very hard, honestly. Um, I mean, you know, the own when I think about it, the only thought uh, in my head out loud is it is so unfair. So. It is very hard. I think about his parents. Yeah. Um, that if someone like me can have these thoughts and feelings, I have no idea what um, his parents have gone through. So, but it just like I mean, still can't process. Yeah. I still can't. Um, every time I see a video, I feel like, how is that true that he's not there? Because he was the most confident and most talented man I ever met till date. Really? Rate. Yeah, he was so confident. Like my first question to him when I met him was, "How do you have this confidence? How?" And he would just smile, and he he was just so humble about it. Um, but yeah, I'm just grateful that I got the opportunity to even work with him, interact with him, and. Um, He will always be someone very, very special. Yeah. You know, you're also apart from the show and the acting, you're also sort of um, catering to ten million followers on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, and I was just looking at your feed zone, and I, I feel like, you know, of course, you're showcasing two aspects of yourself. There's one. Which is very much the Punjabi kuri and very much the sort of the daughter of the soil kind of persona, and and the other is this very glamorous woman in 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 the gowns and the corsets and the tank tops. Do you have to second guess where this is concerned, where social media is concerned? What is going to sit right with your audience? Like you said, you have to think about the roles. 
Um, honestly, when I started using social media, it was purely because uh, it was purely for work. I think if I wasn't an actor, I wouldn't be on social media. You don't enjoy it? No, not really. I mean, it's a great platform to be connected to your audience, but the kind of pressure we are living in, uh, and now sometimes the kind of pressure that I feel, um, I don't think so I would have been on social media if I wasn't an actor. And also when I was not an actor, there was still one of the, I won't name the platform, um, it, it was still there, but I, I never felt the need to be there. And I remember one of my colleagues just took a picture of me, made an account, said, please use it. Um, but I, it never really fascinated me. Uh, so when I started using it, I didn't have any idea or planning ki mujhe apne aap ko aise hi project karna hai aur mujhe aise dikhna hai aur ye karna hai I just you know express myself I just wore whatever I would in general um, you know uh, but now sometimes yeah uh, I, I do feel like when you know you see the comments it bothers you so sometimes even when you want to post something you don't and I've made it a conscious choice to not post anything about my family um, because you know they're very simple people I want to also I'm a private person so I like to not share too much about my family my brother my mom and my dad so it is not a planning I don't plan too much but sometimes even when I you know you have this urge to express something I refrain I feel like no you know, not everything has to be out on social media. Um, some things, it's okay. Kabi-kabi bahut andar se lagta hai, yaar, ye, mujhe ye kehna hai, mujhe ye likhna hai. But then you, you, you stop yourself because you feel like not everyone's going to understand. It's okay, I don't know how everyone's going to take it. And uh, so I, I don't. But this image that you're talking about, like me, a very Punjabi, desi kuri that I am, uh, you know, I, I, I enjoy... Both. Both. You know, I feel like because I grew up in a village, so I have lived a very, very normal and simple life. Chule pe khana ban rahe, kheto mein ghoom rahe hai, you know, tube bell pe dance kar rahe hai. I've lived that life and I feel very, very blessed. Um, because today in Mumbai, you know, when I discuss it with my friends, ki, are, you know, summers mein, jab watermelon aata hai, to wo fridge mein itna maza nahi aata, wo aap usko tube bell mein daalte ho na, wo thanda hota hai, bohut maza aata hai. They don't understand, they don't relate to these things, but I feel very blessed that I've lived a life like that. And then my work demands that I live in Mumbai. I live in a city. But if I give a chance today, I'm very happy if I go back in a village. I like to be in quiet places. So under se, I'm still very like desi and I like to eat with my hands. And when I eat with my hands, I eat a lot more. When I'm eating with a spoon, I eat a little bit less. And I've noticed that about me. So I don't know, I'm the same from under. You know, that girl who grew up in a village um, with uh, probably no electricity during the day. So we've not watched TV. Like my entire childhood, the only film that I have watched was Sita or Gita. That's it. Wahi it's TV a good one. Thi thi. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the only film, um, you know, I have watched. And uh, I think I watched my first movie in the theater when I was in 12th standard. Wow. Yeah, one I watched Dilwale Dunaniya Le Jayenge, but I was very little, so I don't remember um, anything. So, you know, very less exposure to TV or uh, any these things. So, so yeah, for social media, I never planned ki mujhe ye image dikhani hai, aisa kuch karna hai. To bas, I think I see hu, wahi dikhati hu. But bahut bar bahut cheeze kehti nahi hu. I refrain because I feel like I, I don't know if everyone will understand. I know, it's probably smart. Yeah. <laughs> who, who needs the stress? Yeah, Hai yeah, na? yeah. What is the advantage of it? Absolutely, absolutely. And I mean, everyone has something to say to say. So, yeah, yeah I, I feel like it's okay. Those who you know, they, as long as you are able to communicate your thoughts and your feelings to them, it's, it's fine. I read that the first Punjabi film, He Ranja, was uh, released. The first, it was the first talkie Punjabi film okay. in 1932. So last year, we actually celebrated 90 years of Punjabi cinema, wow. which is amazing. Yes. Uh, you, of course, spoke a little bit about what you want to see happen with the industry. But when you think about the next few years, what are some of the things you would really like to accomplish? Like I said, I mean, you know, I want to try different genres. Um, I want to keep experimenting 
while considering this, uh, you know, this thing in my mind that I want everybody, I want the families to feel happy when they watch it because that's our primary audience and that's what we as a Punjabi industry we stand for. Uh, but yeah, there are these some changes that I would definitely like to see there. I hope that happens. But um, and this dream, you know, uh, that I wish that someday, you know, people sitting in Bombay, in Mumbai, uh, you know, discuss a Punjabi film and I'm a part of it. Uh, <laughs> so if that happens, I mean, um, you know, nothing like it. But, you know, now with the, the lineup that I see for 2023, there's some outstanding films coming, different genres that we've not done before. Um, so everyone's really trying their best from their end. And um, I... I just feel that the way people have loved Punjabi music, they will also love Punjabi cinema. Absolutely. And I have to end by saying that when I spoke to our Punjabi correspondent, Jagman, and I asked him about you, he said she's the only woman who can get an audience into the theater on her own name. So more power to you and thank you, Sonam. Thank you so much. Such an honor to sit um, you know, with you and chat, really. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Sastrikal, Meha Sonam Bajwa, and I had a wonderful, wonderful chat with Anupama Chopra. Please like, subscribe to Film Companion.